There's really no way of measuring, I think, the profound impact that Frank Piasecki has had on so many people's lives. As a prolific innovator, his tandem rotor design raised the aviation community's expectation for lift capacity of helicopters. The Marine Corps today has spent over 40 years flying the CH-46 tandem helicopter. The vital capability provided by the Chinook helicopter today is a direct descendant of Mr. Piasecki's flying banana, the H-21. And the tandem, no matter how we did it, the tandem always came out better. And the reason for it became fairly obvious. One, all of your power is going into lift because the rotor, the counteracting the torque was automatic by the fact that the two rotors turn in opposite directions. So that was fundamental. Frank Piasecki's tandem rotor innovation eliminated the need for the helicopter's anti-torque tail rotor by creating a second vertical lift rotor. This radically simple design provided Piasecki's XHRP with three times more lift capacity than anything flying at the time. Called the dog ship and piloted by Piasecki in 1945, it was the world's first tandem rotor helicopter. Having graduated from NYU's School of Aeronautical Engineering in 1940, Frank Piasecki was drawn to the relatively untested field of vertical flight. With a group of like-minded engineers, he formed the PV Engineering Forum. After their day jobs, they designed the PV-2 at 1937 Callow Hill Street in Philadelphia. They built it with used bicycle, car, and airplane parts. Their next challenge was to find a pilot. Ooh. When we thought it over, including the prices, we decided it was me who was going to be the pilot. On the day of the first flight, Piasecki, the son of Polish immigrants, used the only available open space, the local Polish picnic ground. In spite of some tricky moments, Piasecki taught himself to fly the PV-2. It would become the second successful helicopter to fly in America. And it was a sweetheart. It could, it could do anything. Uh, it was very controllable. Before the PV-2, helicopters were notoriously difficult to maneuver. The vibrating forces of the turning blades transferred directly into the pilot's control stick. Piasecki's dynamically balanced rotor system solved this problem and opened up the nascent industry to the use of much larger, more capable helicopters. From 1943 to 1953, Frank Piasecki and his team at Piasecki Helicopter designed and built 10 separate helicopters each one contributing to the rapid evolution of vertical flight technology. The H-21, known as the workhorse, operated worldwide in a variety of configurations and provided crucial support in Vietnam. In 1955, the majestic Turbo Transporter was the world's largest helicopter. Its rotor diameter was almost twice that of the H-21 workhorse. By the 1950s, Piasecki Helicopter had the largest order backlog in the industry. This rapid success required capital investment to increase output. Renamed Vertol, the company merged into Boeing in 1960 and to this day remains focused on the mass production of the tandem helicopter. Driven to solve the technological challenges facing his burgeoning industry, Piasecki founded a new company the Piasecki Aircraft Corporation. Innovation uh, occurs in a smaller organization than the big boys. One of Piasecki Aircraft's first projects addressed the helicopter's vulnerability to ground attack. In 1957, the Army contracted with Piasecki to develop the Air Jeep. The Jeep was designed to fly under the trees, feet, just feet off the ground. 
three versions of the Air Jeep successfully completed Army and Navy field trials, laying the foundation for future hybrid aircraft being considered today. In order to overcome the helicopter's inherently slow speed, Piasecki developed the world's first shaft-driven compound helicopter. Its thrusting ring tail and lifting wing demonstrated extreme maneuverability in the 1962-16H1 Pathfinder. Later, the 16H1A Pathfinder II reached speeds up to 225 miles per hour, 50% faster than anything flying at the time. In the 1980s, Piasecki shifted his focus from speed to lift by combining the dynamic lift of four helicopters with the static lift of a helium blimp. Piasecki's goal was to develop a hybrid technology capable of expanding rotorcraft lift capacity up to 200 tons. Famous for his leadership and passion, Piasecki inspired a dedicated team to realize his dream. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. We've worked very hard. Wait till you, wait till you see when we get this thing flying what we're going to do. As the helistat approached its test flight phase, the excitement at Piasecki Aircraft was palpable. On April 26, 1986, Piasecki stunned the skeptics and thrilled his supporters with the Helistat's first free hovering flight in Lakehurst, New Jersey. After three months of successful flight testing, a ground accident occurred during a routine taxiing maneuver, destroying the aircraft. While the concept showed promise, the program was dashed. An ordinary man would have crumbled. You go five forward and four back. You don't make one slow step, you make a, a whole bunch of jabs to solve problems and, and you don't always uh, hit the right solution. There were many opportunities during the course of Mr. Piasecki's career where he could have accepted setbacks as a reason for giving up. Even his major successes did not tempt him to rest on his laurels and avoid further risk. Today, Piasecki Aircraft is developing the second generation of ringtail technology in the Speedhawk X-49A compound helicopter. A modified version of the Sikorsky Seahawk, the Speedhawk has surpassed all its milestones, flying 47% faster than the unmodified Seahawk and achieving up to a 50% reduction in vibration and fatigue loads. Frank Piasecki's legacy of imagination, passion, and perseverance lives on and promises to have a continuing effect on the helicopter industry. So tonight it's my privilege to represent not just the great soldiers and sailors and Marines and other aviators throughout our country, but also every single person who has benefited from this great American, his great vision. Frank, congratulations. We're all proud of you. But there's a lot more to do. And you out there who are doing it, the future is bright. It's your future. Be there. Wake up where the clouds are far behind